So the focus of forensics is basically crime scene investigation. So it's like all the crime scene shows, the CSI, forensic files, but we kind of practice those skills and see what it's like in real life compared to what it looks like on TV. I think it's valuable for students that want to go into the field, but also for anybody that could possibly end up on a jury someday, just to have some idea what's reasonable, what's not reasonable, what they see on TV isn't always the way things really turn out. So I thought this is a career path in the future. I thought it was very interesting to do, so I want to go in forensics potentially in the future and join the police academy. Uh, well, I've taken a lot of science electives in my four years here. I took AP Bio and Med Tech, and I really liked them, but a lot of them were more like, you know, doctor training and like how you deal with patients, but here it's a lot more like research and lab work, which I like. I love doing labs, and it's really applicable. I think it's a fascinating subject. I think the kids that take this really learn a lot of different skills, and every day is something new. So SIRS, or Science Independent Research, is basically you get together with a mentor teacher. I chose a teacher I had known for two years prior. And then you pick a project of something you're interested in, and you design your own experiment. And you, I worked with Mr. Rylander and the teacher again to get like all the materials I needed. And basically, you carry out this experiment, and then you write a research paper on it. So SIRS is an opportunity where um, our students have have the chance to design their own experiment. When I think about uh, a science experiment, I think there's a question to be answered, there's a procedure that you go through, and there's a, an answer that you come up with. And, and this uh, class gives students the opportunity to really do all three of those. It's, it's really unique in the sense that um, the curriculum is really written by the students themselves. So they're the ones that have the opportunity to say, here's here's an area of interest that I have, and here's a question that I would like to pursue. And the mentor, teacher, is really kind of the coach that comes alongside them and helps them design that experiment, ask them good questions, um, helps get the equipment that they would need to do that, but, but the curriculum is written by the student, which is, which is unique. I thought it was really cool about the same time I finished up my paper and stuff, I was looking at more information and a bunch of other research papers had come out basically concluding the exact same thing with my results. And so I found out that my, what I did actually made sense and there was other scientists doing it, so it was something relevant. Um, I think it inspired me to do research in my life. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I thought I liked science. And then doing something like this really created the idea that that's what I want to do with my entire life. I found it really fascinating that like you do this work and it actually has meaning and there's real world effects of it and so I think and I just thought it fun too so I it really led me to know what I want to do with my future so I'm really grateful for the class. If you're interested in science and you really would like to to take the science skills that you've learned and apply them to, to an, your own questions um, this is an opportunity for you to do that. I would like to introduce students to a different way of looking at the world. Usually students are aware of where they fit within this small sphere that we call the Earth. Astronomy deals with everything beyond that. I took astronomy because I wanted to learn more about like planets and suns. Like you see every day, like you see moon and sun, but you don't really know what it is and how you could use the information. And from the class, I learned about how like you could tell a lot about like a day and a year just on the position of the sun and the moon, and that was kind of interesting. So I took astronomy because of um, Physics. Physics also is about just how the world works and the why things work the way they work. And so astronomy kind of deals with that in a way where you can make sense of the world around you and also like outside of our world, basically the universe. Um, learning how to view where you are spatially in the universe is not easy for, some, for many students and um, I'd like to give them a chance to do that. Most memorable moment was when we created telescopes because you think like telescopes are such a high like, technology stuff but like we created telescopes using like magnifying like small laboratory magnifying glasses which was kind of cool because you got to play around hands on lab, lab and it was just exploring and you could create so much. One of the first units when we did the, our interplanetary system. We went outside and we were each given a different planet and to, to like understand how far away each planet is from each other we like 
We walked a certain amount of steps from GBS. Since I got Neptune, which is our farthest planet, I had to walk basically all the way from school to um, basically where the like, little bridge is for the highway. If you're thinking about it, you should definitely take it. It's, um, it's a really interesting class. If you're more of a hands-on learner, you like to learn through labs and also watch interesting documentaries to back up the labs, um, you should definitely take it. I think they should take it um, just so that they are not ignorant of where they are in the universe. The, as I said, it's most people's understanding is just on this little tiny small globe that they live in where the universe is so, so much more physically. This class basically is designed to give students who are interested in the health careers or the medical profession a chance to really get hands-on in certain procedures that they may see at the hospital. It's also kind of designed to give them kind of a feel for whether this field is for them. I took med tech because I could definitely see myself doing something in the medical field when I grow older. I know I want to um, major in something in the medical field, I think like pre-dentistry. So I really wanted to take med tech just to kind of get like more in depth into um, like medical knowledge and I really liked bio so I decided to take this as an elective. It's really interesting you learn a lot about the body and how it works and you go deeper than something like bio would be so if you really liked that class this is like a step up and you it's very hands-on so you're not really sitting and listening to lectures you're active doing labs watching videos so there's a whole span of things going on. Med tech allows you to step outside your comfort zone um, with regards to labs. Like you do labs that you would never get to do in bio, chem, or physics. And I think it's a really good class if you just want to explore your interests in the medical field, whether you think you're going to pursue it or not. And to be able to do something that real doctors do is a really cool experience. I think just the different experiences that kids get to be involved with. I'd say definitely take it. It's really fun, really hands-on. If you like anything with doing labs or working with other people, this is definitely the class for you. We go on a lot of nature walks. We work in the greenhouse. Um, they learn a lot of different plants that they might not have been exposed to otherwise. So I just hope they appreciate the plants around them and start to see them more in their daily lives. So it's different both semesters. In the fall, it's more indoor focused, and in the spring, it's more outdoor horticulture. So things like landscape design. Um, in the fall, we do, like I said, floral design, and we work on uh, plant evolution and propagation in the greenhouse. Um, I took this class because it was kind of like the only science course that really like stood out to me and interested me when I was choosing my classes. And I also heard a lot of good things about it from seniors who took it last year and other people that were in the class last year. So I decided to give it a try. We just spend so much time working like on individual projects or working in the greenhouse and the garden. It's very like an independent class to take and something that's so fun. There's a lot of like outside projects that we do that are just a little bit kind of grueling, but they come together and it works really well as a class dynamic. I took brain studies because I'm interested in psychology and I really thought it'd be interesting to kind of know the background of like how your brain works and functions. It's not that it's like a super easy class because it's not, but like it, it's fun, like it doesn't take long, like time literally flies by in this class. So I think that this class is unique in the fact that it's really student driven. So we really go based off of current research and we talk about um, things that are really relevant to students' lives today. My favorite labs are when we dissect different things. So we have done the sheep's brain, the cow's eye. My favorite is the dissection. Um, we dissect a sheep brain, we dissect the cow eye. Um, we get to dig deep and we get to see what's actually going on in there and relate it to what happens in humans and in you guys, which is really great. I thought it was really cool because um, not only do we learn about like the brain, but we also learn how like um, your brain connects to like, your eyes and why they function the way they do. My favorite lab has probably been the phantom limb lab, um, mainly because like I kind of was caught off guard by Ms. Thomas because like it's like one of those where you have to like put your hand behind your back and then they have like a fake hand and at the end she like threw a hammer at it and like I could feel it in my other hand. 
So like, it was kind of cool, but like I didn't expect it. If someone's considering taking this class, I would definitely say take it because it's really fun. Um, you do a lot of hands-on activities and teachers are really awesome. They help you through almost every single lab and every single activity that we do. This class is extremely hands-on. Um, we are rarely sitting in our desks doing you know, simple note-taking. We're really up and we're moving around. We're applying all the things that we're learning. We're doing fun labs. We're doing um, games. We're doing uh, po making projects, activities, posters, anything like that. It's fun. I definitely take this class because it's super fun and it kind of just opened my eyes to like what the brain does and what it's capable of doing. And just I learned so much and I think it's really good to have that knowledge in the future.